twister. Or fire spin. That's the potion. Oh, that's the spot. Dolly is just. Uh, just oh, she dancing. Dance. Dolly, Dolly dancing. Oh, thank you. It's the Molly Dolly. Would she have black Can we take the Dolly apart? Fun? <laughs> oh, that was bad. I'm here all week. You remember the Molly Dolly? Yeah. <laughs> so we cleared the first route. We just need to keep this up and go through each shrine one by one to gather clues about the culprit. Which supposedly leads to solving the real life case. I'm starting to understand how the mystery labyrinth operates. You learn fast. Unlike a certain master I know. <laughs> Please, don't bully him. If you're so impressed, oh. why don't you just sign a pact with Halara? I wonder how Halara will react. Uh, although, if everything that's happened so far is anything to go by, probably with a vacant O. Mm. But when we get, like, when we get, like, Death God Shinigami, mm. where she's all giant. <laughs> Oh. I'll just be standing there like is this part really necessary? <laughs> oh yeah, you know there's gonna be some sort of meta commentary. Yeah. Oh, are you sulking? You're the jealous kind, aren't you? So are you! <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Baka. We're short on time, aren't we? Let's move on. <laughs> the little gig. All right. Shinigami, your project. <laughs> <laughs> Again. <laughs> I can't wait to reap the culprit's soul. <laughs> what do we do next? You can choose whichever you want, so why not start with the one you're most confident with? Ooh, okay, so now it's a choose-your-own-adventure game. Okay. Interesting. Do we go in order? Or... I feel like we should, because the third one we're very sure is a copycat. Yeah. I feel like if we solve those ones... And then that one won't make sense. Okay. So we're we just we we'll just go, club mansion gallery then, yeah. I guess, yeah. Unless you wanna. No, I'm happy with that. I just don't. Oh, excuse me. Unless you wanna work backwards. Uh, In order of the crime scenes, chronological order backwards. It's a darkest under the lantern kind of case. Yeah, um... Hmm... What do you think, chat? Do you think we go in order of the crimes, or... Is there a particular area you'd like to revisit? All right, that's two votes for in order, one for throw a die. <laughs> Meg? Uh, I'd like to go in order as well. Okay. We do have dice in that bag over there, though. <laughs> <laughs> we do. Um, Roll a handful and see how many ones, twos and threes you get. <laughs> I do tens, though, so that might take a while. A die for the dead. Yeah. All right, well, look. Uh, we have enough votes. I think democracy wins, so we'll go in order. Let's see. Unless you has other ideas. No. I was about okay. to say, like, was it the illusion of choice? Mm -mm. Hmm. Where are you going? I just wanted to see where, like, they in the like, were they anyone we knew? I just like where they reuse character models. 
right. The first locked room happened six months ago in a secret club in Kamasaki District. An old geezer was nailed to the wall in an. Yeah, because we know how they out. escaped, so I'm confident that we can put together. Yeah. How they were killed and how they got out. It's all in the lock room. We, because we we've been saying since since that room that they used the nails as a ladder to get out. Yeah. If you think you're up for it, then let's solve this thing. Are you going to the first locked room? Yes. Let's go. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, Aw, Alara, this is where we first held hands. Mm -hmm. Why are you surprised by this? If the mystery isn't solved, then I won't escape this place. <laughs> Trapped in a cramped room with these two. <laughs> Ah, bait and switch. I retired to focus on my writing. Can't write while solving mysteries. I'm not that powerful. <laughs> no worries, Reiko. Well, I mean, look, if you need a break from the writing at any stage, feel free to join back in. We shall see you soon. Yeah, enjoy. I have no intention of playing along with your fantasies. Yuma. Hurry up and take care of this. Well, Lara's no fun. <laughs> R really interested to see what she makes of the pop-up pirate segment now. Yeah. Or what they make of the pop-up -pop pirate segment now. Yeah, okay. Why is this so difficult? <laughs> because all the presentation leads one way and the video game is trying to be is trying to be coy. Yeah. This is where I used Talara's forte with my coalescence for the first time. Yeah, see, see even Yuma's like, this is where we mm. held hands. <laughs> blushy, blushy, touching his fingers, <laughs> his fingertips together. Postcognition allowed us to see the crime scene as it was in the past. Some things were obviously different. Those are most suspicious. Oh, yeah. Here. I know. What about the vent? You believe the culprit escaped through the vent? Yes, yeah, I'm sure of it. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and then there were. Which is the which is the wildest thing about this? Now, if the peacekeepers are covering everything up. It makes sense why nobody quote unquote noticed or reported on it. Yeah. But surely if there's a bunch of bent nails leading up to the vent that has no screws on it, mm -hmm. anybody with five seconds of thought would pause it. Maybe this is how they got out. Mm -hmm. This is you know, these look too much like stepping stones. Yeah. When I saw the crime scene with your post cognition, the screws on the four corners of the vent cover were removed. Which means the culprit must have escaped from there. <laughs> I was waiting on that. Well, he fits through the vent. Mm. <laughs> How ludicrous. <laughs> You're saying the culprit escaped from the vent? That's impossible why you just came through there Hogan full of holes until he's a makeshift golf course <laughs> what does that mean <laughs> okay are these transitions broken <laughs> Oh, here we go again. Fighting time. Uh, How ludicrous. 
Thank no, hold on. Let me use the other key. Out. No! Come on. Uh, huh. Sorry. Wrong one. How ludicrous. They used the vent. That's utterly impossible. Think of where that vent is. Isn't it pretty high up? There's no way you could get there. Even if the cover was removed. There's no foothold to use to reach it. No one oh, could get out through the vent. What? Right. What? Okay, that air fence is the only way to the culprit could have escaped from the lock room. I don't know why you have to slash at it when it's like five feet away from you. Mm. How ludicrous. They used the vent. That's utterly impossible. Think of where that vent is. Isn't it pretty high up? There's no way you could get there. Even if the cover was removed. There's no foothold to use to reach it. Yeah. Some of the nails stuck in the bottom of the vent were bent downward. Also, the lighting. And this just makes you, uh, you look like Snoke. Mm -hmm. Or like, yeah, or like Voldemort or something. Mm -hmm. The culprit used the nails driven into the wall as footing to reach the vent. The weight caused the nails to bend. So you're forced to fight this way every time. Quite the test of endurance. Yeah, but I keep getting smacked around by the words because. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. That one looked very janky, like when it when the one about the cover being However, removed. So yeah, that seemed to come out and then freeze the and then come to life. To I, yeah, I event. thought that as well. And I'm like, is the game going easy on me because I've taken a couple of hits? <laughs> is it giving me time? But that's why that's why I end up getting hit most of the time as well, because I'm trying to judge how close the words are before I slash. Yeah. Because there's been times where I've slashed, and it's been way too early, and like I've mi I've yeah. missed, and then it gets too close and it hits me anyway. So. Yeah. Did you find that out using my post cognition? It's still, uh, you know what? It's still better than the. Um, it's still better than the than the the the, the revolver. Mm. I'll, I'll say that. Mm -hmm. I have no problem saying that. Sorry, more deathly violent sneezes. I'm, try I'm trying to save your, I'm trying to save your eardrums here, chat. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't die. Yeah, without your help, this case would have been impossible to solve. You'll never be considered a full-fledged detective until you can handle a case like this on your own. Sorry. I believe the title of the best time to rampa game play goes for a game that is new to time to rampa. 
<laughs> yeah. No, but like honestly, doing trial three last week. The mini games just didn't like me. Mm. Like I wasn't having fun with the mini games. Yeah, because they keep the adding more pretty, to it every just time, and it just gets annoying. Lo but lo like, even Logic Dive is boring. Yeah. Hangman's Gambit just takes far too long. The novelty wears off, like, immediately. Yeah. Right, let's hurry. Gotta climb over this dead guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm seeing double. <laughs> Four Yumas. Oh. The mystery labyrinth. Such a bizarre place. Oh! Oh, okay. At first I thought the painting was broken, but no. No, th that would be correct. Because you're looking down into the club. Yeah. It's not like a Mario painting where you're... <laughs> yeah, no. No. Yeah, the only good minigame is the sword one, because you're literally cutting through the arguments. Mm. But I do like that. I must ask, is there no way I'm to hoping V3 has the handles the better. Mm. You mean like in the emergency exit? Unfortunately, I don't think that exists. An emergency exit, huh? Well, there is one, kinda. Huh? There is? But it doesn't solve anything. You'll just go right back to the mess you came from. No. Oh. <laughs> Besides, to use the emergency exit, you'll have to pay a heavy, heavy price. Oh. And that is... Using it here wouldn't help anyway. Oh, that's a that's gonna be a plot point later, in it? We're gonna need the emergency exit on like the final case of the game or something. Hmm. It's gonna be a whole in or in the third mystery in the third locked room because different culprit. Oh. I don't know how you got it. Never mind. Just yeah. concentrate on solving the mystery. It seems more like it was a double effort. Yeah, the implication seemed to be that it was an accomplice. Because mm. they had to be able to get the key through the vent to either let the murderer out and lock the door behind them, or. Pass it through to let them out. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, there's something weird in there's Something one. weird about the art gallery one, yeah. <laughs> Look at her legs. Got it. I'm more I'm I'm more enthralled with her hair. <laughs> but I do I do enjoy her little tantrum kicks. <laughs> do I get treasure again? Yep. Yay. Do you have a new She's dialogue? Spinning. Yeah. That's <laughs> Chest matches your wings. It does. So, who's gonna open the treasure chest this time? How about uh, whoever looks like they'd win a character popularity poll? <laughs> did, did Shinigami win a character popularity poll in the run up to this game being released? <laughs> Like, did they do a poll and then write this into the dialogue? <laughs> like, afterwards? Oh, that's me! <laughs> Modest as ever. So humble. Sadly, Melamy is no longer with us. Oh. <laughs> The amount of Melamy merch, though. Yeah. The amount of merch for those jabronis at the start of the game. <laughs> I, they were jobbers. They were. They were. For Poochie, though. I oh, like oh. Poochie. But, yeah. <laughs> they had one of the worst burnings. <laughs> yeah. All right. Another solution, he.
thin person. Looks like that's a clue. That's hilarious. The shape of that body. Hmm, someone thin. So priest or cat girl? Please don't be cat girl. Considering the culprit used those nails as footing, they would have to be nimble. Nimble like a cat. No. Nimble like a priest. <laughs> That's a saying, right? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone at the start seemed like so much fun, and the writers just went, What if we don't use those characters? Yeah, it was so weird because they're on the box. <laughs> yeah, they're on the box of the game. They're on like the the little like menu icon for the Switch. They're getting a bunch of merchandise. They're featured very heavily in the uh, Raincoat Donkey Rampa crossover. Yeah, it's um, so weird. Events. They're they have official art like mm. with items of clothing that we, we just don't see them use like <laughs> melanie's badass long coat mm. and this, i'm just like why <laughs> why did you game of thrones why us in chapter zero why did you put so much effort into these characters for nothing <laughs> Although I do appreciate it. In a, in a sense, I do appreciate it because... The effort to throw you off? Oh, yeah. 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 It's like World e World's End Club. Because World's End Club looks like it's going to be... Oh, God, it's just Danganronpa, but... You know, in cuter. it. But cuter. Yeah. yeah. Like, World's End Club looks like it's going to be Danganronpa, but cuter. And then it goes, actually, no. Yeah. Fuckos. <laughs> this is how our game works. Man, I want to play World's End Club again. <laughs> I wouldn't mind doing another shot. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah, you play mm -hmm. it instead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's basically a side scroller. You'd be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's nothing in it that I remember make me ill. No. Mm. I do. I genuinely do miss the characters of World's End Club. Yeah. You know, Anaki and his really deep voice for a 12 year old. Yeah. Especially in the song. In the song, that was so good. Oh, <laughs> and the best part about it in the song is that it's the same in the English and the Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to phrase it so it's not spoilers, but V3 does something similar to this game. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, well, I've already been spoiled on one thing about V3 this week, haven't I? <laughs> haven't I? Be nice. I am being nice. I'm teasing. <laughs> I'm just teasing. <laughs> By the time we get around to that game, I'll have forgotten. Yeah. Because memory of a sieve. <laughs> <laughs> memory of a sieve. Unless I owe you money. I'm sorry, okay. <laughs> think, Mark, think! <laughs> I will be your B really quickly. Oh, okay. I'm just going to go get some diamonds. Oh, yeah, sure. Would you like some? Ooh. Um, but I still have most of this can. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I didn't drink mine in three gulps. Oh, look, it's just very good, I think. <laughs> cool. Um, I needed energy. <laughs> and given the size of the vent, only someone thin could fit through it. Yeah, I don't want to be the cat girl. Okay, let's just hide Meg for a sec while she's away. So the culprit must be thin. We're narrowing down the possibilities quite nicely. It's like the best, it's like the most intriguing game of Guess Who I've ever played. <laughs> is, your, is your murderer fat or thin? Is your murderer a boy or a girl? <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Trying not to die here. Keep it up, Master. This is all thanks to my training. Oh no. Charizard used fire spin again. Alright. Let's keep going and solve the remaining locked rooms. Oh, 
Okay. Number two it is. Did you really take me on screen? Mm-hmm. Hold a second. Yeah, but you were gone. Mystery occurred three you know how easy how much you know how easier how much easier that makes it for me in the editing process when I know what to base the edits around? <laughs> Oh yeah, the mansion. And we posited they used basically a pulley system to hang the body, wasn't it? Yeah, like they pulled him up over the door because there were scratches, but I don't know how they got but it. But they nailed him, nailed him through the other side of the door. Yeah, they did something weird, like they mm. hung him up and nailed, because the ones in his chest were dripping down the way. Yeah. And then his legs were nailed to the floor after that. But I don't know how he got it. Yeah. The corpse was we did consider a... The room's key was found underneath uh, the corpse. A, a secret entrance. Is that, is that something about hmm. the fish or something? Yeah, the fish aren't always there or something. Because mm. we were like, this murder happened three months ago. Those are some awfully well-maintained fish. <laughs> yeah. If you think you're up for it, then let's solve this thing. I guess we'll figure it out as we go. Oh, you know the order I've been adding to, right? So we've got the the pop-ups of Yuma and Shinigami. Yeah. I ordered two of the crowns. Yeah. I ordered one of Yuma's badge. Yeah. I ordered the wall scroll. You ordered the wall scroll? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna have a three foot we're gonna have a three foot Shinigami wall scroll to hang Yay. up in the new house. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> happy happy birthmas. <laughs> birthmas, yeah. I get birthmas. Can I do this? I can't. <laughs> yep, wall scroll of Shinny. Uh, Amiami.com. Right? It's like. A... Only shops on Amiami. It's not like I own the place or anything. <laughs> Baka. Um, yeah, just type in rain code and there's a oh, bunch of true. merch. Uh, the Dongan Rampa uh, rain code merch is still there. Um, you really don't work for them, by the way. <laughs> no, I know. For legal reasons, I have to say, not sponsored, not an ad. Um, just naming similarities are fun to have fun with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, ami, ami, ami. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll... Oh, excuse me. We'll just have to figure this one out as we go. Mm. That'll be straightforward. This Ember's problem. No, I mean this. This bathroom. Oh, this one. Yeah, okay. I don't know the answer. There are dolls nailed across the room. The victim is... Oh, I know. I thought it was a stylized artwork of Shinigami. <laughs> oh, no, that would be cool. That would be super fun, but no, I just mean like a fabric anime wall a poster scroll. but scroll poster but scroll yes <laughs> fabric poster fabric poster yeah yeah dolly's everywhere again and the culprit was also missing from this room it shares common traits with the other mailman killings and we're trapped again looks like you got to solve the mystery of this locked room or we're not leaving I don't think the time limit thing is going to matter in this case at all. No. I really feel like they've set that and the emergency exit thing up for late later in the game. Mm. I feel like that's going to be a one-two punch thing. Yeah. I think we started rambling because we don't know the answer to this one. That's Yeah, that's kind of what happened. <coughs> right. So, um, what I'll do here... We're trapped again. Looks like you gotta solve the mystery of this locked room, or we're not leaving. Master. <laughs> I'll try. So Halara is not getting sight at all. The door was are locked they? When the corpse no. was found. And the only key was underneath the body. 
Mm. Oh, that's the other thing. The key was underneath the body. Mm. There are no windows that could have been See, that's the other, like, so that's... Is how does that work? Because he was obvious, because the guy was strung up. And then we know he was strung up using the... The, for lack of a better term, let's just call it a vent. They above call, the door. They call it a vent. So. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, the vent is too small to fit through. Wonderful. So we know he was strung up using that. Mm. And then nailed into. That's why the blood is running downward. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like the Lara, the only question. We get, how the hell did I get here? It, that is fair. Where is my money, Yuma? <laughs> <laughs> Then are we going to get to the money? <laughs> <laughs> and so on. <laughs> Yuma's going to be waking up and Talara's just going to be staring over him. Like, uh... What's the dog's name? In Rick and Morty. Where are my testicles, oh. Summer? <laughs> I mean, where is my money? <laughs> so how... The culprit yeah, escape how do you here? escape, get the key under the victim? And if you nailed the victim while they were upright and then laid them down and then continued to hammer in. Mm. Like, how does that work? What are the options? The doll. The doll. <laughs> okay. Vent. Then... In the fish. That's what I yeah. That's what I was wondering. This is a weird red mark here, but mm -hmm. it's like, is that meant to? Oh, oh. Something changed there. You saw that, right? No, I didn't. Oh. Yeah. That's, yeah, it turned into a question mark around these books. Is it the projector? Name? There. Oh. Oh. Okay. I want to know what that is. So he did say something about. Yeah. I don't know how, but. All right. So we have the fish tank is an option, apparently. The door, obviously. Yeah, the vent above the door. Doesn't seem like there's any, like, bookcase secret passage shenanigans. Oh. oh. Like, stand corrected. Desk? The desk? I feel like that's a, like, oh, he hid under the desk until the door was <laughs> open and snuck out. I don't think that's how that works, though. No. Because we'd have picked up on that during the investigation. Yeah, we weren't able to look under the desk at all, so no. that's not any kind of clue. Hidden button under the desk, Scarabus? Oh, maybe. You, you hit a button and it drains the fish tank and you can roll out into another room or something? <laughs> what? When I feel we... like you'd be able to see another room. But you remember when, when we, we walked in first, they mentioned something about the fish tank, didn't they? They did, but do you remember when we left last time mm. and we walked out that door and i was like oh what's back here and i checked the door which would be here yeah right and there was a weird laugh there was like a giggling and then yuma got, and yuma got all scared it was like oh my god the, the place is haunted mm. even shinigami was like oh no not ghosts mm -hmm. Because the weirdest death god in the universe can't handle ghosts. Um. I mean, when we get this wrong, it just goes back and makes a pick again, doesn't it? Yeah. So what do you think? Do you think we pick doll, fish tank, desk, or vent? I don't know about vent. Because there's obviously there's no way through that. No. So doll, fish tank, or desk? 
I'm really curious what happens when you click on the fish tank. Okay, let's run with that then. Is there- oh! <clears throat> oh, okay. Oh, okay. I wonder if the water tank is connected to the outside. Let's say that it is. Still, it's not big enough for someone to swim through it. Right. Okay! Fair enough. Desk? Yeah. Nope. Nope. It doesn't take too much time. There doesn't appear to be any gimmick around here. You can't escape from here. Is there zero escape from this room? <laughs> the hall? Clearly the fucking vent, isn't it? It's gonna be the vent! How though? Are you curious about the doll? I'm sure your instincts are correct, but that has nothing to do with the current problem of how the culprit escaped. Well, I was looking at us. Yeah! <laughs> you must solve each problem before you, one at a time. I understand. So the doll is important then. Mm. That's what that said. The game was like, yeah, the doll's important, but not now. It's like Ace Attorney when you're when you're ahead of the game mm. and you present the evidence too early, and it's like, not yet. Yeah. Way appears after lining up the books in a specific order. <laughs> oh, I've done that too many times. <laughs> that was a puzzle in Resident Evil Zero? Nonsense as well. Well, yeah. That's a cliche contraption. There's nothing like that here. Oh, thanks. Mm. Which means they have nothing to do with it. Fine. No! Okay, no. thank God. Thank God! It's too small for someone to pass through here. Yes, and it looks like the bars are screwed shut from the inside, so they can't be removed. You can't escape through there. Is the corpse an option? Is the corpse? No. Oh. Huh. But we've already done that. The other corner where those dolls are, I think it helps for that as well. Or will they get the same answer as the I think it's the same answer. Well, well this one's helping. So, yeah. So they don't change color or anything to say no you've already tried this mm. so that's kind of worrying because we could very easily just make the same mistake again if we're not careful the game did say we were close here but a painting yeah, so I thought it might have been something, but no. Because remember we deal with that. That was straightened up in the. Yeah, that was straightened up. Uh, the peacekeepers adjusted it yeah. by mistake, <coughs> or, or knocked it while they were investigating. Is the door itself just an option? I don't believe so. Oh. No. Mm -hmm. No. He just, walked, he out just walked out the door. How though? The key was under the other lad. Here. Fuck off. Maybe it's one of those doors it's that locks. Can you just pull up the handle? I don't know. He just walked out of the room. To leave the room, the culprit had to have taken this door to the hallway. Huh? There's nothing special about that. But there's no other possibility. There isn't another entrance or exit. But the door itself was locked and the key was found under the corpse, right? That 
after locking it from outside in the hallway, how did the culprit enter the room and put the key under the corpse? Try it. Everything must be verified. Is this going to be some nonsense where the murderer just threw it back through the vent and it bounced off something and slid under him? Maybe. There'll be some nonsense where basically the key played pin pinball. It wasn't meant to end up sure. under the corpse, but it just did. So it was like a happy accident? Because it's not like with the girl where it was like stuck to her. Uh -oh. After committing the crime, the culprit went out to the hallway with the key in hand. They then locked the door. There were scratches on the vent, so maybe... <laughs> well, yeah, well, we figured that was from being strung up to be yeah. nailed, but... Assuming that's the only to create this lock no. room, the problem is... The fact that he's bleeding down one way and across the other hasn't even been considered yet. Or, at, at, or discussed. So... What are you going to do with that key in your hand, Master? Tell me you still have no idea. Oh, hold on, let me think this over. We should go back inside for now. Really? The only answer is the vent. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Labyrinth says no. Looks like we're locked out. So do the door just locks itself then? We use the key to get back in. Uh oh. This is bad, Master. You better hurry or you'll fall into the abyss. What do I do? Calm down. You just need to solve the mystery. Doing that will open the path. How are you gonna get egged on by the lock? <laughs> <laughs> you can do it, can't you? Yes, I'll try. There's a chair right there. Oh, yeah, use the chair, throw the, the key back in the room. In the room right? But I still think case... it's a bit too... Thrown in? That's right. The key could be slid through the gap in the vent cover above the door. And if they manage to throw the key right under the corpse from here... That didn't land under the corpse, though. So. It stopped. So are we just to presume that the... Uh, was I right? Did the happy, happy accident? Happy or... accident? Yeah. But nothing happened. The door is still closed. If it was wrong, a trap would have activated. So we're on the right track about the key being thrown in. But there's more to it than that. If you simply threw it in, it'd be impossible to position it under the corpse. Magnets? Mm -hmm. I see. So this is the vital clue for this locked room. I'm beginning to understand what happened here. Would like to share Alara, with the class? Have you <laughs> already solved the oh, trick you know. to this locked you know. room? Mm -hmm. You know they will. You haven't? Hey, quit playing hard to get and tell us. <laughs> or just me. You can whisper nope. in my ear. Aww. Or oh, just me. You whispered in my ear. You doing that little face again? Yeah. We did the thing. <laughs> if you want information from me, you'll have to pay a fitting price in Xi'an. There is no currency in the labyrinth. Lara, Shinigami can just reap your soul, you know. Of course. I don't work for cheap. You really are a devil! Trying to take money from a death god, huh? What is the sprite doing? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. The key was definitely tossed inside. But that doesn't explain how it got under the corpse. Just ricocheted off something. 
right? Yeah. We. Is there some kind of string? Uh, that's what I was thinking. I mean, that's what I was. That's what I was gonna say. And I'm, I'm, but I'm trying to work the logistics of it out in my head. And I'm like, mm. no, that's a bit too dumb. Watch that be how it is. Mm. But there were scratches so, or something, right? How did the culprit pull off that trick after tossing the key in? Thrown in, but it was on a string, and then he pulled the string back out afterwards. Yeah, but then you run into the ladder question again about how do you unhook the string from the key? Yeah. Maybe the corpse was moved? That would explain how it was on top of the key. Oh, that the peacekeepers moved the body. Maybe. But how do you move a body from outside a locked room? Oh. Oh. Okay. Aww, the way's completely blocked off. But the only things here that can block our progress are mysteries, right? It's a face. That's true. So we just need to solve the mystery. Oh yeah. Why didn't I think of that, Shinigami? <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? At least give me a heads up first. How was the corpse moved? It says, how was the corpse moved? I've been trying to figure it out for a while, but... Evidence was left at the scene. Was it? Huh? Aside from the scratches? If you look at the evidence, you'll understand what tool the culprit used to pull this off. Tool? Cool. That's all the advice I'll provide. You must figure out the rest yourself if you wish to be a true. Yeah, use the court record, Phoenix. <laughs> what keys do we have then? Are we to look them? Mm, it should be able to. Uh, got it. Got it. You just want the mystery solved for you, huh? I can tell because I'm your mentor. Oh. So I'll help you out. Ready? You better be. Huh? Ready for what? Lay it all out, master! Uh, all the pirate? Yeah, I think so. Yay! Please give him a quick or something to collapse from all the blood loss of this room. They look a little chippy. Oh, I missed it. The culprit used a six letter word to move. Okay. They are. I don't even know where to start, so I guess I'll just. Uh, let's start with. Uh, oh. X is blank. Nope. Oh, that. Oh, that really hurts our time. I suppose I could have just fed her the keys. <laughs> Restart from the beginning. Uh -huh. No. No. I guess I'll just feed her the keys next time. But well, something to do with whatever he used around his neck, isn't it? Really, he'd have a rope. He's. Oh. Strange. <laughs>